Innovation is the theme of this year's My World of Tomorrow conference and exhibition. We've previously known innovation as the driving force behind technology to make companies more efficient. This year we're looking at Africa and how innovation can drive Africa to awesome opportunities. I think Africa has a real opportunity to become leaders in innovation. And it's because, first of all, need or, or, or requirement to innovate is, is very important. And, and Africa has some really basic issues that it's still dealing with, for example, health, education, food needs. And, and if you put those together with the other driver for innovation, which is technology, and, and what we call the Internet of Things and how that's making the ability to improve how we deal with healthcare, to improve the ability of efficiency in agriculture. If you bring these two ideas together, Africa really has a real opportunity to, to lead in innovation. There are a number of challenges in innovation. It starts off with uh, you, you need to have a basic platform to innovate from. And of course, in, in today's world, that platform's become a technological platform. There needs to be a level of connectivity. There needs to be a, a, a basic ability to, to connect to this intelligent world, which we do through the internet. So in Africa, sometimes uh, that, that, that inhibitor has been the lack of efficient connectivity. And I still believe that's, that's a big inhibitor, certainly in Africa. And then of course, um, other inhibitors come down to just general education. I mean, innovation, yes, is something people say people are born with, but uh, you need to have a basic understanding. And, and we talk about maths and science being, certainly in the technology sphere, uh, key drivers. And, and, and that is an inhibitor, certainly we find in, in Africa. And then of course, uh, we need governments and we need economies that are supportive of innovation through regulation, through funding, and again, if they're not in place, then innovation won't happen at the same rate as it will happen in other places. A lot of innovation that we talk about, um, by nature, when we're talking certainly about technology innovation, comes from the West, uh, comes from the USA, Silicon Valley, and, and a lot of that innovation, although we get to enjoy, isn't necessarily perfectly matched to the needs of the local economy. What we really want to do is we want to drive innovation that's really needed in the local economy. So for example, in, in South Africa, where you've got a very large unbanked economy, we're looking for innovation that can help to, to bring those unbanked people into the more formal financial sector, but maybe not through banking. And, and of course that innovation is not necessarily going to come from the US where 95% of the people are already banked. So really uh, that's a part of what we're trying to do with, with, with our My World of Tomorrow is to drive innovation by Africans for Africans. And, and, and it's not just a, a sexy thing to say and something that sounds right and good. It, it really makes sense when you look at why and what we want to innovate for. Uh, public sector and private sector can, can enable innovation. Uh, certainly public sector has, has a huge role to play. Uh, we talked about the platform, uh, you know, there's a lot of conversation going on, you know, we talk about electricity being a basic, of course, for innovation, but, but now connectivity and bandwidth is becoming a basic for innovation because that's the, the whole democratisation of innovation, access to knowledge is, is hooked up in that space. So that's a huge uh, basic that the government needs to provide uh, public sector. I think also um, regulation and policy, not just policy that's pro-innovation, but in fact a lot of policy unwittingly becomes um, anti-innovation. Private sectors, uh, to me, is, is, is really important in terms of, of driving uh, funding and driving opportunities through whether it be a venture, capital uh, funds or, or uh, mentorship programs. I think some of the work that's now starting to happen through enterprise development, I mean, these are important because uh, innovation is one thing, but for an innovation to become commercially viable, it needs a market. And, and that's often where, where the private sector and bigger companies can help uh, with innovations. All the players in, 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 in a normal industry, from, from public sector to large business, will, if they apply their minds, uh, benefit from innovation. But really, in, 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 in the old days, it was the large companies that could set up these research and development houses and be the leaders of innovation, the Bell Labs, as we, as we know them, HP, RBM. But 
It's changing now because we, we talk about the democratization of, of innovation and that's because really you can innovate by having an internet connection as we spoke about and you can even fund yourself through these methods. So um, I think entrepreneurs and startups, uh, especially when we look at the ability to disrupt, actually can benefit the most from innovation in the years to come and, and already have. We're driving this message of innovation as being an important topic to be talking about and discussing. And, and how do we do that? Well, we do it through a number of ways. We, we, we bring uh, ideas so that uh, a variety of audiences can learn about uh, new ways in which people are innovating across the world, which is always valuable. We um, do something that, that's quite unique for a conference is we try and bring different audiences together, not just across different industries, which is one way innovation really happens, is where you get people from different industries beginning to talk together and, and something new comes out of that, but also from different age groups. We, we have a big emphasis on the youth. I'm a great believer that the true next innovations come out of the youth, out of young people, because their minds are untainted like ours. But they on their own may not even know where to begin to be innovative. So when you can put them together with, with maybe businessmen that have, that have experienced challenges and been in business for 20, 30 years, and, and we try and do that, we try and mix those audiences together at MWAT. And that's a part of a way, I guess, we're also trying to drive a new form of innovation. And then we've got the, the Innovation Awards, which is our way of recognizing innovation to get people to say, you know what, if you innovate, we want to recognize you, we want to make you famous so that we, we celebrate innovation. So those are, are some of the ways we, we drive into the topic of innovation. Thank you.